Inflammation is quite the buzzword in the health and wellness space right now, yet many of us don't really understand what it is and how it affects our bodies. So today we're helping you understand a little more about it and sharing exercises that can reduce inflammation. Tamara Stevenson is a fitness trainer and the wellness director at Entrada in St. George. It's great to have you. Thank you, I'm and excited. I'm intrigued with this idea of exercises. I thought inflammation was more food related. It is still going to be food related. That's still going to be the number one exercise is going to come underneath that and we're going to go through both of them. Give us a basic understanding of inflammation and what types of health problems can go along with it. So inflammation when it's on overdrive and it thinks something is coming in and attacking it or it needs something to repair but it doesn't, then it's staying around almost like a guess that you want to leave, but it's not. Mm -hmm. They're not, and it sticks around. And then we end up with chronic conditions, chronic diseases that um, get worse over time. And you have firsthand experience of dealing with inflammation. I ha was diagnosed with MS in 2012, and because of the myelin sheath that gets deteriorated in the brain, it's a central nervous system disorder, is sending mixed messages to the body, and that causes inflammation, which causes pain. So I was dealing with a lot of pain almost all day long for years and mm. dealing it by pain management, taking meds until I figured out the magic solution for me. Mm. And exercise was part of that. What are the standout benefits of these exercises you're going to show us today? Mobility, mm. movement, not hard movement, not hard exercises. We're talking about exercises that allow you to move, promote the blood flow, promote oxygen, and improve your overall health. Okay, all right, well let's jump in. Uh, we're gonna get into something you do in the morning to promote that movement that you talked about and that mobility, but you like foam rolling, right, Tamara, as a beginner, beginning I to start? I love, love Hop foam rolling. Hop on down here, show us what to do and, and show us why this is so, so great. Okay, so we're dealing with your fascia when we're talking about foam rolling, and uh -huh. fascia is just the, what is the connective tissue to your organs, your muscles, your joints, and all those things. We want that to be fluid and moving so the rest of you feels like it's mm. moving in a full range of motion, which is what mobility is, okay, right? Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna start with a foam roller. Mm -hmm. This one, you can buy different ones when this one's a little bit softer, but that's a good one to start out with. Okay. So we're gonna come because down to the floor. Because this can be kind of the feel-good pain, right? The, uh, what, I, what I've done with foam rolling in the past, which isn't a lot, I realize that it can, it can hurt so good, right? I had a foam rolling class, 75%, probably 60 and older. Okay. And getting them to do this was, they looked at me like. It was hard. This hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring out the smelling salt. So, <laughs> okay, what do we do? We're gonna do one side at a time. When we okay. do foam rolling, you're gonna drop one foot off to the side. Okay. You get some good arm workout, by the okay. way. Okay, right. gonna lift the hips up a little bit so that you can move. You wanna make sure that you're not rolling over any bone. Okay. And you're not rolling past the knee. Okay. So then you start turning the foot in. We're gonna get the inside of the cat. It does. <laughs> You'll know what it is. I'm going to sound like one of your class participants in about 30 <laughs> seconds. The smile changes to yeah. kind of a grimace. Right, right. Okay, so leg, kind of right. lower calf area. Where else might I foam roll? So the reason, I, and I would generally start with the foot roll up, because let's say something's happening in your hamstring. That doesn't mean it started there. Mm -hmm. So we start from here and roll up, and whatever is connecting in and causing the issue, okay. we will hit it on the way up or On the way up. It. You also like a tennis ball? above the tennis ball. Yeah. This is almost like using a Theragun. Oh. So this is gonna be a little bit deeper into the fascia. Okay. If you can stand more pressure. I would say start here, uh -huh. but you could move on to using this. And now, same placement or? I'm gonna have you, the glutes are, well, they're the center of our body. Yeah. They do a lot. They tend to get really sore. Yeah. So we're getting deeper into that glute max muscle. Okay. Into oh. what we call the piriformis. Oh. Okay. Now I want you just on the center of it. And we look like we're posing for a bad 90s photo. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna lean to the side a little bit. Do you, do you feel what I mean? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. And I'm saying it with a smile, but I, I, the smile has no my place in this answer. <laughs> my class knows that when I oh. smile bigger, they're like, ooh. Yeah, that yeah. hurts, that hurts. Why, 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 why? Right. Well, some stretches don't get it. Uh huh. You can stretch all day long for a glute and not. And a stretch you can take too far and you can cause harm. Can you do that with this? 
if you're doing it too long, you don't need to be doing this for, you know, in that same spot for five minutes. I'd okay. say three minutes max in any area okay. using a ball and even foam rolling. I hate to say we have one minute left. Can you show us just a few exercises on Let's the ground? <laughs> you're, you're being so good to roll with us here. Right, I know we're moving, moving quickly. I'm gonna get this out of yeah. our way. All right. So say you're just rolling out of bed and we want mobility from the start, promoting that blood flow. So yeah. I, when I get out of bed, Little march. Little march. My husband like still could be asleep. <laughs> and you're moving. And I'm moving. Go, a little in the dark. Okay. We start, but I want that blood flow. You'll just feel like all of a sudden you're ready kind of for the day. Uh-huh. We're gonna take it arms up, warm up the spine, loosen up those knees, and just start to roll down. You don't Kinda have hang. to touch your toes at this okay. point. And roll back up. Okay. And then we're gonna start to twist. It's not enough twisting in our workouts uh, these days, and our spine wants to. Wants to move. It wants to move. Yeah, okay. And if we take it up and link the side, yeah. Now we're getting all directions of what the spine can do. So simple, slow movements, Reach. But promoting and that then to warm up those knees, you go right into. Okay. Kind of just that swing and yeah. bend through the knees. All right. And you'll just feel all of a sudden be like, all right, I'm gonna go get ready. I can do this. I can and you're do like this. ready, you're ready to turn on the music and go get whatever you need done. Well, done. This was eye opening to me that exercise can have a place in inflammation, recovery, and reduction. So thank you so much. Where can we learn more from you? You can find me on Instagram at Mountain High Fit, and you can also find me on my website at groupxmethod.com. Okay. We'll link both for you on our website. Thank you so much, Tamara, for thank sharing you. your personal experience too.